Okay. Hi, everyone. This is Andrea from Verbling.com, and this is a GIF lesson. We will be looking at moving pictures, picture files that have some animation with them, and you will be working on describing them, so you'll be using um, action verbs, verbs to say what's going on in each one, um, adjectives, maybe yeah. describing emotions, maybe some adverbs to how they're doing things. So all your descriptive skills you'll be using today, and maybe you'll learn some new words, too. How are you doing today, Vincenzo? Yeah, it's fine thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's a bit, bit, uh, bit cloudy, but uh, it's a very a bit cold. <laughs> ten degrees. Ten degrees. Yeah, yeah ten degrees. Okay. Yes. Oh, I wonder how cold it is here. Let me check. For us, for us, it's very, it's cold. No. Yeah. Us in Italy. I went outside just now, like an hour ago. I walked. I took a little walk. It was okay. It's four degrees here right now. Ah, four yes, degrees. Oh, four degrees. Cool. Yeah. Perhaps you are a custom to this. Yeah. To this. Uh, yeah. No, not. Um, no. Well, I grew up with um, warm weather. I'm from Texas. Texas is in the south part of the United States, and so the weather is very warm there. It gets very hot, actually. So, mm. um, yeah, it is a lot colder than Texas, but I've been here for um, more than a year, so now I'm used to it, I'm more accustomed to it now. <laughs> yes, but perhaps it depends also when you are when you were bo were born. Were, yes, were born. Perhaps yeah, where you were born, where you yes, were raised. Yes, it depends maybe uh -huh. because when uh, I think that because uh, I like also Rita because uh, I was born in uh, January, but uh, uh, I I like the winter also. Mm -hmm. I think that's also could, could depend from the when the period you, of your birth. Also. Yeah, yes. maybe. Maybe. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I don't know who you when when you were born. April. Yeah, April. April. Mm -hmm. yeah. Springtime. So perhaps you you like springtime. Like I do like bit. springtime. It's but fun. Yeah, <laughs> but springtime. Yes, I think that everyone likes springtime. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <That's the problem. laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I've heard there's a saying. It says that um, there's no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothes. So I'll, I'll type it. <laughs> no, ah, uh, uh, you mean if you you must have a, a, an adapt clothes in order to yeah <laughs> to fight to face to face the the, the climate the, the weather. Yeah, so yeah. so bad you know, weather the, does not exist. You just have to have uh, good clothes to to mm, deal with the, um, the weather. No, yeah. I don't. Have to, yes, yes. I, if, I, uh, I there are there are some persons that are very. How do you say? Very cold. That <laughs> some people that don't like cold in any way, they are always feeling cold. Yeah, just cold natured they, people. They're always cold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Sometimes uh -huh. some people they are going to suffer from cold. Yes, yeah, something. Yeah. yeah. Feeling has always feeling cold. Yeah. 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 Perhaps my daughter also in this way. Okay, she's maybe yeah. some cold natured. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. why when I teach my classes, you'll often see me wearing a sweater or some kind of a jacket, something <laughs> something warm, because I get cold too. But yeah, I have to wear very warm clothes here because I'm not used okay. to. I did, did not grow up in I, a cold climate. I didn't notice notice the, this that. Yeah. Okay, okay, well good. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see very much of me either. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. We have a bigger group now. We have Ahmed. Hi, Ahmed. Hi again. Good to see you again. You're back for some more Hello. gifts today. Hello. And we have also Diego. Hi, Diego. Hi, Andrea. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. Great, great. And Jung. Hi, Jung. Hi, teacher. Nice to see you. Yes, nice to see you too. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm fine. Today is very cold. It's cold? How cold is it in Vietnam? Yeah. yeah. What's the temperature? How many degrees? Uh, 20 degrees. 20. 20 degrees um, Fahrenheit or Celsius? Yeah. That's cold. It's cold. Is it cold? It's strange. But it's uh, a lot of rain. I hate rain. <laughs> it makes the weather very cold. Okay. Yeah, so if it's... um. If you're 20 degrees um, Fahrenheit, that's actually below freezing. So it's very cold. 20 mm -hmm. degrees Celsius might still be a little bit cool, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Hi, Honorio. Uh, hi, Andrea. Hi again. Hi again. And yeah. hi, hi again to Michael. Yes. Yes, hi, hi. Hi, hi. Okay, uh, let's get started. I have gifts for you. I think most of you have done something like this before. So you'll be working on your descriptive skills today, talking about what happens, uh, verbs. You'll also be talking about maybe you'll see some different emotions in the gifts. So there's some adjectives, emotional adjectives you can use to describe what's happening. And also adverbs, too. Um, adverbs, we don't talk about them as much, but you can use your adverbs how something is happening, describing what is happening, describing the action. We'll be using those, too. So we'll take turns. Um, I have a bunch of GIFs that I'll put on the screen, and we'll take turns talking about what is happening in each one. So each one of you will, will start the description, and then um, after you've described it, maybe we'll, we'll get some more words, too to uh, make sure we have described it thoroughly. This is probably the most anybody has ever talked about any of these gifts before ever. So it's very fun. Uh, we'll get started very soon. Hi, Antonio. Hello. Good to see you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Great. Good to see you, too. Yes. And then we also have Fabio. Hi, Fabio. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, is this your first class with me? Yeah, it's the first one for me. Great, nice to meet you. And where are you from? I'm from Italy. Italy, okay, great. Vincenzo is also from Italy. Yes, yeah. yes. Yes, great. Okay, well, we'll get started. So we'll we'll um, get our gifts on the screen. Just give me a second. I try to pick ones that are kind of funny so that you can remember all the words. If you have something that um, is a, it connects to your emotions or something that is funny, that is easier to remember. So, Vincenzo, I don't think you've ever done a gift class with me, so you get to start today. I don't remember exactly. Perhaps, yes, uh, there was one, I think, uh, about what's about uh, uh, a, a bad, bad uh, child, or something like that. I don't, know. Bad child I don't that remember. That was... Was screaming yes. Now about uh, candies. Oh, uh, you're talking. That was a video class actually. So uh, this is, yeah, no sound, just movement. So uh, you see on my screen. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. no, that's another kind of video. <laughs> yeah. So it's but, not. Yeah. So it is kind of like a video, but there's no sound. Yes, but can we click on it on your? Um, I can give you a link to it if you want to open ah, okay, it. Okay. But okay. I think my screen is... I can make it bigger, too, on my screen. Mm. Okay, so Vincenzo, can you tell me what is happening in this? Mm. Oh, that's too big. This is big enough. No, no. Yeah, I think... So I can, can I click on your little screen? Yes. Yeah, if you click on my screen, then it'll be easier to see. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I'm seeing. Okay. Yeah. All right, so what... Can you, you describe this... Thing that you see, your GIF. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't understand very well what kind of animal is it, it is. <laughs> I, yeah, it's, it's not very clear. It's not a dog. It's not uh, a cat. I think. No. Hmm. What, uh, what kind of animal, teacher? I'm not sure actually. I yeah. If I had to guess, I would guess it was a. It would be a raccoon because. The tail does not look quite right, but the face looks like a raccoon to me. Or maybe a kind of badger. I don't know, some kind of little mammal. What's the guy doing? He's trying to uh, teach to that animal in order to, to dance. <laughs> <laughs> dance Make dance, dance with him. Mm, try to dance with him. Uh -huh. He's trying to dance. Mm, dance with him, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a very sim sympathetic with the kind of animal. It, be, it is not a dog. Could be, <laughs> yeah, in the chat box, maybe it's a fat cat. Well, it is, uh, it's kind of fat. fat. cat. <laughs> 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 no, no. Mm. Yeah. What else about it? What's the, so the guy's trying to maybe teach it to dance? Yeah, to teach it him. To dance, him or her, I don't know, it goes. <laughs> it, yeah. It, it can, can, can we say it for an animal yeah, or not? Yeah, animals can be it. Uh -huh. It, but generally they treat like a man or a woman, no? 
Yeah, they use I mean, the pronoun him or her. Mm -hmm. I, I heard. Yeah, you can use it, him or her, for animals. Usually, if you have like a pet, like your dog, yeah. would be you could use a, the the gendered pronoun he he or she, yeah. him or her. But um, here, sometimes if you don't, if it's an animal that you don't know, or maybe you they yeah, know yeah. the sex. Because, yeah. Yes, if, yeah. We don't can know I say? Can I say it? Or yeah, you can say it yeah. for an animal. Uh -huh. Yeah, it. Yeah, okay. So it's a bird man with a cap with a jean with jeans. How do you say with a those, skirt? No. Yeah, those those yeah. are. It's made out of denim. Blue jeans. Yeah, blue. Blue jeans. Blue jean material. Blue, uh -huh. blue jeans material. I don't know the type of kind of jacket. No, it's a, overalls. No, it's a, oh, what kind of jacket is this? So when you have pants. And then you see, it's a little bit hard to see on this. You can see when he bends yeah. down to pick up the, the animal yeah. right here. You Could can be see overalls. It has straps. The, perhaps 70 years old. Like this, 70 years old. Mm -hmm. And mm. how, do you, how, how, um, how do you know that he might be 70 years old, kind of old? <laughs> perhaps from the beard. The uh -huh. beard. Uh -huh. <laughs> from uh -huh. the beard, but I'm not sure. I think that the the age is about this this mm -hmm. year. By the way, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, he has but a very what, big beard. Yeah, what I don't know what is on the floor. What is a eye gas? Is something that could be used for for fight for? Yeah. Yeah, it's a, something like it's like gas. See right gas. here. Yeah, you call it a gas can. On the left, I don't see what, what what kind of machine is on the in the bottom on the left. I'm not sure what that is. Well, it's very strange. A very strange machine. Mm -hmm. mm. Do no. you know the word for this place that he's in? He's outside, but there's outside. also. Outside. <laughs> Yeah, but there's also, um, you see, it has a roof and a floor. Maybe it's part of his house. Do you know the, the name for that kind of, that place? Uh, there is a name. Uh -huh. Not a specific name, no, not a specific name, or a proper name, no, of the, okay. the, the place, but something in general, in order to describe the place mm -hmm. outside, to describe the place, the place that is outside. Uh, it is uh, also a, a square. So no, no, I can't say square. <laughs> a square is something more appropriate for a city, no? A square. A square might be part for like a city. For a city. For a city. city. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah. How could you mm, explain the outside with the, the open space that is outside? Does anybody know the name of this place? It's it has a roof and a floor, but it's outside. It might be part of his house. Uh, v is first letter. Uh, v. Um, that's not the the specific word I'm thinking of. Maybe there is one that starts with a V, though. One second. Terrace. Terrace could be a terrace. Yeah, yeah. Place Porch. outside. Porch. Uh huh. But excuse me, terrace is, is no, no, there is, isn't terrace something that is inside inside the, in a part a terrace. Or not? No, it's terraces outside. Outside, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Terrace. Uh, uh, so you, how could you explain terrace in, uh, in more it's really words? It's close to Italian word. Ah, terrace. Loggia. Yes, um, no, but terrace is something that is included in an apartment, a terrace in Italy. Uh, when you have a terrace, it, it's... Uh, mm, a part of an apartment is the upper, the upper part of an apartment, or or the or in the apartment itself. Could be like a balcony. Yeah. It's a place outside. Yes, the yeah. the place in where this man is is like a balcony, no? Or like a, no? Or well, not? I I don't think this is quite a balcony because you can How see. How do you call it? I would call this a porch or a patio, also. Patio. Yeah, patio. Yeah. Right, right. Uh -huh. A Party. balcony would be higher, like maybe on the second floor. Could you show me a balcony? A balcony. A balcony. Uh, just imagine a place that is outside, but it's um, it's on a, a higher floor in your house. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like in it. Yes. Yeah. Balcony. 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 Okay. Uh huh. 
Yes. So, but this this setting, it's um, it looks like it's maybe on the ground floor. So it, we would call that a porch or a patio. And they're uh, usually pretty big like that. Like you can, you can cook yes. on the patio. Yeah. So uh, how do you explain the the outside? In which word is more appropriate in order to explain what is outside? What's the the space that is outside? I would call it a porch or a patio. Could you could you write it? They're they're in the chat box. Porch ah, and porch. patio. Mm -hmm. Porch and patio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So an area outside your house. It's part of your house, but it's outdoors. Uh -huh. Patio. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So we have an old man dancing with some kind of animal, some kind of fat animal, on his porch. He's outside. There's a Maybe we're not sure what this machine is. Maybe he's it's some kind of a cooking, cooking machine. Cooking machine. Maybe the, like a barbecue. The, maybe a, maybe on the back. a grill, maybe. Yeah, could be. Could be not, a grill. It's not. It's not. It's not clear. Yeah, you know, very clear. Yeah. Okay. I think so, I think we got a, enough information. Yeah, he's on coming that. to him, like to take him to uh, take skin off. <laughs> to skin it. <laughs> yeah, kiss cafe. Here we go, <laughs> guy. <laughs> <laughs> Why I saw like in the countryside some kind of people that do you know like uh, rabbits. Uh, yeah. What, uh, rabbit, home rabbits. What, what is the name for them? Oh, they, they 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 raise rabbits to eat. Yeah, so uh, usually uh, people g grow these rabbits and they like eat them because they mm -hmm. are like healthy meat, very healthy meat. So they like I saw how they like take and they, here we go, <laughs> like play with that uh, rabbit and after that. Yeah, they and then if you take the skin off of an animal, that the that can be a verb to skin, skin an animal. Yeah. So maybe he's about to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and he is excited. Yeah, he looks very excited. Maybe he's hungry. Yeah. Time, time to eat. But the animal is very, very, how do you say, very calm. <laughs> very yeah. calm. Yeah, he doesn't not, know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. Let's go to another picture. This will be for Michael. Hmm. I don't know what's next. Here we go. So uh, it's a crowded places. People looks like they're on some kind of celebration, and something uh, thrown in them. What, what is that? I don't know. What is that thing? It's a torch. What kind of thing is this? Pie. Maybe a pie. Or cake. cake. Yeah. Cake. cake. Yeah. For yeah. me, like pie, cake, yeah, torch is the same. Yeah, thing. because it yeah, is splash. <laughs> Splash no, uh, in the face. Splash, this splashing. Yeah, this pies thing. are normally um, <laughs> a circle. A cake can be is can oh, be okay. a circle or square. Yeah, and the the filling pie has a filling, and cake is like the structure of cake is different than a pie. Pies have crusts, and cake is um some, something baked with like flour, and then there's you see on the outside of this we have some kind of frosting or icing. So pies have so, crusts and cakes have frosting. So, like someone thrown, thrown? Throws someone throws or, no, no, or but someone has uh, through through. Someone threw this uh, cake, and um, hmm. in uh, in people. But what is the name? Like uh, in the crowd? Yeah, crowd. Yeah, we can call it a crowd. Yeah. So can you say someone threw in crowd? Someone threw a cake into the crowd. Yeah, into the and, crowd. And, mm. and then and, one girl. Uh, yeah, how, how do you say that the cake is, is splashing in the face? How do you cake see? How do you say that, 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 that this cake is splashing in the face of the woman? Uh, we wouldn't say that the cake splashes. Splashing is hey, more for liquid. It? So that's just the yeah. cake. <laughs> the cake hits her in the face, and the icing yeah, and so goes everywhere. Yeah. Ah, because that we okay. Hit, yeah. hit, sir. What about that girl that gets hit with the cake? What are, What are some ways to talk about her? She's um, uh, feel she's feeling freaking awesome. <laughs> she's freaking out. Yes. <laughs> feeling, freaking uh -huh. awesome. Uh -huh. Yeah, and um, she's uh, 
uh, excited, it's another word, mm -hmm. and she overwhelmed. Yeah, can I say something about that? Maybe you. I would. Uh, what is that overwhelmed? Would overwhelmed as if you're in a situation and you uh, you feel like it's whatever is in the situation is too much for you. Uh, maybe she, she, if you are saying overwhelmed in like a positive way, like you're so mm -hmm. happy, you could say yeah. overjoyed. Overjoyed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. She's so excited about this cake. She can't handle <laughs> it. She's overjoyed and she's freaking out. <laughs> she has a good time. Yeah, looks like she's having a good time. Uh -huh. She's having it's a good very time. strange situation because I don't understand if it's they, they are throwing cakes for survival or in order. I don't know, Vincenzo. <laughs> oh, for no, a joke. No, it's a party. It's a party. A, pa a party, yes. It could be a party. Why do you do you say a party? Because the be young people with uh, I with glasses, I see many of them. Yes, sunglasses. Yes. With uh, a phone, they filming. Yeah, yes. One of them yes. is yes. filming. At yeah, least. There is a, a very lot of people uh, all together. <laughs> in a very, very a bunch of good people. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we have a big crowd of people. Someone mm -hmm. threw a cake into the crowd, hits a girl, <laughs> frosting everywhere. She's so excited. She's freaking out. Yeah, maybe it's some kind of party. But look uh, on the right hand, uh, there is a man uh, without naked man. And look uh, at his <laughs> yeah, reaction yeah. after the cake is. Uh, Hitting the face of the girl. Is he like right, right next He's to her? Like, uh, yeah, in the right it's side. It's very strange. Right. It's very strange. They are naked. He's yeah. naked, and he well, look at, at least his he face. doesn't have a shirt on. At least. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at his face when. Uh, yeah. There is, there is something, please, uh, very exotic, please. No, I don't know. It's uh, very exotic. strange. Yeah. An exotic, please. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but. Okay. All right, let's go to another picture. Yeah. Okay. No, another, another thing, teacher. On the left, you know, on the, in the, uh, there is a, a strange person with, the, I don't think with the, there is a mask or something like this. It's very strange, do you know? Like a, an alien. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Do you see? No. I don't so, see uh, it. Uh, yes. He's uh, a cat. He's in, a cat. Down uh, left corner, down in the. Are you talking about this thing here? It's a cup. Yes, yeah. That's a it's hat. A, ha a someone, hat. Someone is just holding a hat in the air. A hat. Yeah, it's a hat. No. Okay. okay, let's go to the next one. This will be for Honorio to describe. That's too big. I don't know why the size changes. I said it, and when I make them, when I choose them, I pick the right size, but then they change. Okay, Honorio, what's happening here? Yes. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, I don't know if I don't know if if um, a player received the the ball. Mm -hmm. the you have, I uh -huh. I don't know in the in the. Image. The face or no, or in the, in the yes. body. Or, or, the, or the other player, the, the back player, uh, uh, give, be, give a, a punch to the player in front. Mm. The, uh, the player in front, uh, the, the, mm. the, the second player. Mm -hmm. The one in the back? Perhaps no, the, the in front, uh, in front. Receive a, a, a hit. He gets hit. That's how you'd say you. If you if somebody hits you, then you you get hit. Yes, I think that the back uh, give be, give a punch, uh, a hit. Yes, with the, le he, with the left. He hits him. Okay, uh, but, uh, Vincenzo, let's let Honorio decide it because you describe it because you got to do the first one. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So um uh, yeah. So the looks like somebody um. If so the person that is hitting, that person hit someone, if you are receiving a hit, then you get hit. I'll type that too. Get hit. Yes, I, but I, the problem is that I don't see the ball. Yeah, yes, it's I hard to see, see the ball. Yeah, maybe the ball's going too fast. But you can see it towards the end. Mm. You can maybe make a guess about what happens. 
this. And the and the and, and the back player is a, a little uh, angry for some. Maybe, yeah. For some, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But is uh, is uh, looking the other players very serious. Mm -hmm. Looks like there maybe there's something in the air, like a ball. Yes. So, so. Do you know what sport this is? Sorry. Do you know the sport that this is? Uh, the name of a, the sport? Um, it's a baseball. Baseball, yes. Huh? yes. Two baseball players. Yes, it can, and then can be the the ball is very fast. Mm -hmm. and, and you can see the the ball, and I, I think that the, the player can see the, the ball and hit in her hand or her face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his his hand or his face. Yes, can be. Uh huh. Yep. And then the does anybody know the name of the thing on their hand? Mm. So they have one hand that doesn't have anything. The other hand has something on it. Yes. We call that a, a a baseball mitt. So like mittens, you wear mittens in the cold. We call this a mitt. So it's what you use to catch these balls. There's also a, another one called a catcher's mitt. That's a little bit different though. That's if you're playing the position of the catcher. But here, this is yeah. He has a baseball mitt, yes, and he helps him catch the balls. That's in Spain. In Spain, no, uh, this is poor. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a it's American sport. Uh, yeah. In North, Cuban, uh, in the south, but uh -uh. in Spain, the the baseball is no no it's, it's not very famous. No, in the not so popular. Um, okay, all right. No, it's um, popular. Mm -hmm. so, uh, the the rugby, for example, <coughs> the European rugby with, without helmet uh, is like the the English, but this sport no in, in Spain uh, is unpopular. Okay, yeah, maybe um, soccer seems more popular there. Than football. Yes, more yeah. ball, uh, ball, um, football, uh, cars, motorbikes, mm -hmm. uh, tennis, but this no. Yeah, with baseball, it's they. Yeah, that's we could do a whole class on baseball. I'm not the person to give that class. I don't not know all the rules, but yeah, the, you have to catch the balls, and they they throw the ball very high a lot of the time. So these two people are trying to get the ball. Yes. The one in the back is trying. Is the one that gets the ball. Looks like you see right here. He catches it. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yep. Maybe he's kind of angry. They're trying to really to catch the ball so they can get some more points. They can win. And they are from Texas team. Uh huh. Yep. From your uh, state. From my state, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's not so many good teams in in Texas. Some of them are okay, but the ones the one where I'm from is terrible. <laughs> They're called by the. the by the way, and uh, do you agree that uh, the proposal from Texas to separate from United States, something like that, they can. Oh, to secede. <laughs> To, yeah, they call that secede to to leave the United States. I don't think they're mm -hmm. going to do it. No, but do you agree? Would you like? No, no, they should <laughs> okay. stay in the United States. <laughs> I hear them too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we could do a whole class on Texas seceding. I don't think it's going to happen. I think it it doesn't make very much sense to do it. There's just some politicians that really want that though. <laughs> Yeah, that's another but, uh, class. What is the point? How they like argument arguments? Oh, they just they they don't like some some things that Obama's doing, so they want to do they want to to secede to make their own country and make their own laws, really. Okay. Yeah. Yep, that's what that's about. But yeah, this team is also from Texas. I don't think these people want to secede. <laughs> then they can't play other states as well as easily. Yes. Okay. Good job, Honorio. We have um. Fabio, you'll do the next one. Another sports themed one. Who? So this is for Fabio. It's me? Mm -hmm. For me? Okay. Uh, in the GIF, there are uh, a lot of people uh, that are um, 
participating they are watching a match a ten a baseball match mm -hmm. and the ball is uh, falling to the in the in, in the middle of the public mm -hmm. you can call that the crowd to the, okay the the ball is 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 falling uh, to the in into the ground and in the picture we can see uh, a girl a mother that it's like uh, almost grabbing the the ball mm -hmm. she is really happy to to that <laughs> uh, but at, uh, at at the end at the end uh, as uh, as more as a little child jump and grab the the ball uh-huh very good so her face uh, fell uh, no fell her face looks uh, like uh, really sad really uh -huh. um i'm gonna say triste um yeah sad, sad. Mm -hmm. yeah sad disappointed also yeah she, th she thought she was gonna get the ball um yeah that's all mm -hmm. Yep, so it's a crowd. A lot of times when you have sports where a lot of people go to watch, we call that uh, not not quite the audience, but we call it the crowd. That's a better word for a group of people at sports. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so she's in the crowd. Uh-huh, this ball is... We could, I would say um, instead of falling, I would say the ball is is um, flying. Okay, flying into the, into the crowd. Yeah, fly, yeah, flying into the crowd. Uh-huh. Uh, guess Fabio, from what state uh, this uh, team is? What? Sorry. From what state is the Royal Royal Baseball team? I don't know. K S K C, Kentucky. Ah, okay. Yeah or no? Actually, actually, that the K C stands for Kansas City. Kansas City. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that was a mistake. But <laughs> Kentucky, how do you write Kentucky? Kentucky. Yeah, but what is the acronym for Kentucky? KY. KY, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is Kansas City, so that's <laughs> a, a city. Kansas City is actually not in Kansas, it's in Missouri, which is confusing for a lot of people. But Kansas City, Missouri, their baseball team is called the Royals. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't I don't like so much baseball. <laughs> I don't either. I just think it, it you get some funny gifts out of it. <laughs> I think it's yeah. kind of boring. Myself, not my favorite. Who's the sport. main sponsor of uh, Royal Team? I don't know. From the, this uh, GIF picture, you can like deduct. You mean like a company that that yeah. sponsors them? Yeah. Um. Well. On the uh, his shirt, on the man's shirt, and the. Oh, right. I see. Yeah. Just Nike. 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 Yes. Nike. That's all. Yeah, Nike makes a lot of clothes for sports teams. Helps them to advertise, as you can see. So you see the little Nike logo, the little swoosh. Nike swoosh is what we call that. What is swoosh? The swoosh is that 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 picture for Nike. The logo looks like a check mark, kind of. Can you can you write it down? Yeah, <laughs> swoosh. S W O O S H. The swoosh. Huh? All right, uh, let's go away from baseball ones now, and this will be for Jung. <laughs> <laughs> I see the child, a little child, little girl. Uh, she is, uh, is some uh, pies. I don't know, it's uh, some uh, food, and she is very. Uh, in in the first, she uh, uh, I think she lied uh, to uh, you know is uh, uh, um, try to do something, but uh, <laughs> when she uh, when she uh, begin to eat it, she uh, didn't lie. It. It's like she turned in the way of her uh, happiness to become something is uh, nervous or something like this. It's not happy. Yeah, she's and happy, and then she turns into yeah, the, yeah something else. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And in the table, I see the the bowl, the bowl, yeah, something is it. 
Mm -hmm. uh, a bowl? Yeah. And uh, I see on the world the telephone and uh, the maybe the remote control of uh, something. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. And next and to the, the telephone? Room. Yeah. Oh, that's a we call that a, a light switch. Uh huh. Light switch. Light switch. And, uh, yeah, and I see the the room next to of the her room is uh have a mirror and something uh, for the makeup or something like yeah everything mm -hmm. else. I see the bed and the uh, let me see the um I don't know what she uh, you know where on her. Uh, where on on the um, the two uh, before you eat something you must uh, wearing something on uh, a no? bib uh, ah yeah, yeah yeah the IV the little yeah. pink pink and white thing around her neck keeps yeah. her from making a mess <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah. A bib yeah yeah and uh, her hair is very cute mm -hmm. and with some a little bit of um, I didn't know is um, in in uh, her hat. Barrette. Ah, yeah, yeah. And let me see something is uh yeah, I think uh, it's a very uh, cute uh, gift uh, picture. She's cute, <laughs> I think she's very cute. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, so do you think she likes this thing that she's eating? Mm, I think the first uh before she eat it she uh, really like it. But when she eat it she uh, sometimes uh, is tasted and some smell of the cake she didn't like. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So she looks kind so, of like, oh, I'm gonna eat this thing. Ew. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. And do you know that when you have a little child like this, maybe um, maybe we would call that a toddler. Uh huh. So a little child that just maybe they just learned how to walk. They're really small. They have a special chair that they sit in for meals. You know the name of that yeah. chair? Uh huh. I I say uh and. Her, um, I, let me see. Uh, no, I, I don't think I, can, I have a new describable. <laughs> okay. Does anybody know there's a name? There's a special kind of chair that you have um, little children, like toddlers. You have them sit in it when they are eating, so they can see. So they're they're the right height, so they're high enough, so they can reach the table. It's a special chair just for little children. A lot of restaurants keep a few just in case. It's called a high chair. Uh -huh. So, if you have a baby, then you need a high chair so they can sit in it, so they're not too short for the mm -hmm. table. Basically, uh -huh. it's yeah. exactly how it sounds. It's a chair that is tall, a high chair. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, good. Very good description. Cute little girl eating something. Looks looks a lot. Her expression changes pretty dramatically. Maybe she doesn't like what she ate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks like she's at home. Oh, also, if you look in the room behind her, there's uh, that piece of furniture. You said there might be some makeup on it or something. There's a mirror. That furniture that has the drawers in it, we would call that a dresser. Uh huh. Yeah, so maybe inside the drawers are um, clothes like socks or underwear, dresser. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Hi, Andre. Hello. Hello again. Hello again. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. All right. Um, we'll do the next one for Diego. Okay. I see a, a child band, institute band, maybe. A band, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, mili military band. Um, I would not call this quite a military band just because there are kids in it, because there are children. Yes. Maybe just a school band. Yes, school band, yes. Uh, they're playing the drums. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, all, all were in a uh, black uh, shirt and black pants mm -hmm. and red tie. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Yeah. I see also a flag of the United States. American flag. Yes, American flag. Yes. Uh, I don't know what happened. Do you know the instrument that the boy on the left is playing? No. We call them cymbals. Cymbals. Yeah, it'll there it is in the Cymbals. chat box. Cymbals. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. But he stopped he stopped to play. He stopped playing? Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, I don't know why. Hmm. Uh, I thought uh, one of the symbols is uh, falling, no? Yeah, one of the symbols uh, fell. Felt, yes. Mm -hmm. Felt. Mm -hmm. uh, and he... Uh, make a, a, a kind of um, gesture. Mm -hmm. Does anyone know what, right here it comes, right here. Military, uh, I don't know what this is. Salute. Salute. Yes, salute. Yes. yes. Oh my god, uh, yes. A military <laughs> salute. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. I don't know why he... he Make this salute. <laughs> this salute. Well, um, you notice we're, we're this is at a school, probably school band, because there are children, and then we have an American flag. Um, this is actually part of a video which I have seen, and there are these kids. We have a two kids playing drums. The kid in the middle is playing a smaller drum. We call that a more of a snare drum. The girl on the right is playing a bigger drum. She's that's called a bass drum. Bass drum. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they're playing drums. Um, <clears throat> in the video, uh, they are the playing. In the background, this uh, two. There is two. There are two bigger instruments. Timpani. Okay. Timpani. That's what we call those. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Excuse me, excuse me, teacher. But uh, cymbals are also another instrument. It's not only this. Those plates or not? Cymbal. Symbol. The boys. The boy on the left has a symbol. Uh huh. Yeah. Symbols. Yeah. yeah. But there is also another instrument that is called symbol. Symbol. Or not? Are you talking about in the back of the room? No, 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 no. When when we are going to say a symbol, a symbol has more meanings. I think not not only that those play that is that that boy. Is, the, is so it's playing. Yeah, the instrument. There is another instrument. It is called symbol, or the same symbol. No, the, there's only one. Yeah. It's spelled with the spelling C Y M B A L S. There is one instrument for that. Symbols. Sim there, Actor, there's a, see. there's is one this, that's spelled differently. Is this the, the word symbol? Yes. The the military salute has a special name. No. Or no, we just call it a salute. Salute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah yes, yes. Ah, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Okay, so in this this is part of a video where the school band is playing the American national anthem. Mm. Okay. Okay, so there's also you see a flag that's important. Mm -hmm. A sim one of the symbol falls. He's trying to crash the symbols to put the symbols together to make noise. Yes, yes, yes. One when symbol falls, then he makes a salute. Yes. Because I think I don't know if if I played cymbals, if I were a percussionist and I dropped one, I would probably try to pick them up and keep going. He decides <laughs> to leave them on the floor and then salute the flag for the entire rest of the song. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Vincenzo's gone. Yeah, and so <laughs> look at look at the girl with the bass drum with the big drum. Look at how she reacts. Ruin, ruin the 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 song. <laughs> the, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So he had a he he had a problem with his instrument, and so his idea to to recover from that was just to stop playing and salute the flag for the rest of the song, which is not a bad idea. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay, let's go to another one for Antonio.
Okay. <laughs> um, I see a, a man with, uh, who is dressing a, a black hat <laughs> and a, a special, a special cloth, mm -hmm. um, like a sailor. Yeah, some kind of sailor, maybe. Yes, and the other man uh, scare, scare him uh -huh. uh, in different places. Yes, <laughs> good, good. <laughs> One place is uh, mm, behind a plant. Mm, behind a plant. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, in other place. Uh, the man uh, appear uh, from the um, straw, straw bed or straw. Yeah, a, a pile of straw. You can a call straw. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, in other in other place, the man appear from the um, dirty clothes. Uh -huh. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe a pile of laundry. Yeah, we have two kinds of piles here. Yes. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the man, I think, is mm, south to the other. Yeah, yeah. There's no sound in a gif, but in this one, there's one of yeah. the things his mouth is open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh huh. Uh, I don't know what more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have the this guy in that looks kind of like a sailor. Um, you see his hat, and you kind of the the jacket, the red jacket that he's wearing. Um, there's another kind of sailor that's kind of like the leader of the boat, and um, we call that an admiral. They often wear clothes like that. It'll show up in the chat box. There it is, uh, Admiral. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yes. Admiral. Yep, I don't know. I just found this. I just kind of stumbled upon it. It looks a little bit like Jim Carrey, but I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know where this is yes. from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just thought it was funny, and I said, we're going to do this in English class tomorrow. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't really know the, the whole situation between these two guys, though. It's like one of them's kind of a jokester, likes to play pranks, play this jokes. Kind, this kind of hat, what uh, is the name? Um, a, the black hat? Yes. I'm not sure. I've just heard it being referred to as an admiral's hat. There might be an official name in sailing that they use for that, but I'm not sure what it is. Okay, let's go to another one. This will be for Andre. What is that? So tell me what you see. Musketeers. Yeah, could be yeah. musketeers. They look like uh, musketeers, and I think, uh, yeah, they, tr they they try to. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, they try to hang some men to the bar. Or they, they throw him? Um, I don't think anybody is throwing it, that guy. <laughs> hmm. Look at look at how he look at how he moves right here. They try to hang uh, him on the bar, and he he falls uh, from it. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not I'm not quite sure if they're trying to hang him though. If you look at the way he moves. I can uh, catch him. Uh, ah, okay. I think uh, they try to they jump and uh, somebody, uh, maybe their partner, uh, uh, jumps and uh, in front of them. Yeah. Hello. Hello. There we go. Uh, okay. 
yeah, I think they jump and uh, or they try to hang on the bar and uh, another musket musketeer try to try and jumps in front of them. I think. Yeah, they they are jumping. There's a lot of there's two kinds of jumping in this one actually. You see the group jump. Now you see that the one guy also jumps afterwards. Do you know what it means to um, if you jump up? You, maybe you don't you don't always jump though. Where you take your hand and you put it in the air and someone else touches touches their hand to your hand. Ah, okay. It's uh, I don't know what what is uh, the term, but uh, it's like um, they try to. Uh, it happens before uh, something happened. Uh, it's like uh, before the game, before the war, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, they. I don't know what uh, what is uh, the term actually. Does somebody know that term where you you put your hand up, somebody else touches their hand to your hand for a second, for a brief moment, and you can do it maybe before game. You can do it to celebrate something. High five. High five, yes. Oh, high five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think uh, three days ago we something discussed about high five. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the same GIF uh, was GIF uh, and uh, like some kind of child uh, give each other high five. Yeah, yeah. But I thought I uh, high five is just uh, when you raise your hand and uh, just uh, touch the hand uh, of yeah, the other one. Yeah, you don't have to do it. High fives can be with another person or it can be in a group and you... Mm -hmm. Sometimes you jump, like the hero. Sometimes you don't, though. There are different yeah. ways to have a high to uh, to high five each other. You can use high five as a verb. <laughs> high five each other. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, group high five, and another guy jumps. And uh, this uh, musketeers has uh, special hats with feathers. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> Yep. They have uh, white uh, white shirts with uh, black uh, jackets. Like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Okay. Noth Good. Nothing to describe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just wanted to see you guys to see high five again. There are different kinds of high fives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, high fives. Different kinds of ways to jump too. I would say that the the guy by himself. He jumps. You can also say that he leaps. Ah, he leaps. Uh, a leap. A leap is a big mm -hmm. jump. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what uh, when you uh, when you give five uh, in is uh, another another type of high five of of giving five is a low five or how does it go? Uh huh. Yeah. There's a low five also. So you you same thing. You touch your hand to another person's hand, but it's it's not up in the air. It's a little. It's lower. Yeah, high five, low five. Uh -huh. Yeah, I remember the scene from the Terminator movie when he <laughs> used the five and too late. It was too late. To, it's like a Oh, game yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember the rank. Children do this all the time. Like, yeah, like yeah. Um, high five up high, low five down low, and then they hold their hand out to give a low five, and then they pull their hand away, and they say, too slow, so low uh -huh, five. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Up, oh, oh, I know what it is. Up high, so they hold their hand up for a high five. Let me turn mm -hmm. my screen off. Yeah, it's a little game that kids play with each other. It's kind of mean. High five, low five. Uh, no, up high for a high five. Down low for a low five, and then the other kid is about to put their hand down, and then the first kid goes too slow, and they pull their hand away. Not yeah. so nice. <laughs> yeah. Good. All right. So there's one, another high five, high five, different kinds of jumping. Okay, Ahmed, I'll have you do the next one. Changes. Cat. Mm, there's a waiting cat. The, uh, waiting the uh, the paper to complete mm -hmm. printed from the printer. And cash direct like she is so exciting. Waiting to complete printing and take it. And I think she uh, it fell down or 
and see the monitor closely to the printer mm -hmm. to see the when it's finished. Yeah, it's watching very closely. Good. Good yeah. adverb use there. Yeah. Um, Yeah, they're very excited about this paper. Yeah, so there's a cat. It's watching paper come out of a printer. Something is being printed also. Um, and right after it gets done, grabs the paper. Uh huh. Very excited. Yeah. So he, when he is watching the paper, what he's doing? I think it's just moving its head. <laughs> no, but what is that activity when uh, it's watching very carefully? Uh, you could say that it's, it's staring at the paper. Staring? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's, it's watching, it's not looking away. Okay. Yeah, if you stare at someone, you're watching them very closely. Mm-hmm. Another word that's kind of related to that is to gaze, G-A-Z-E, but um, with that it's um, not as focused. If you're staring at someone like you're really watching everything they do, if you're gazing you're just kind of, you're looking at that person but maybe you're not focusing as much. Cats are funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Um, this color type, uh, like uh, black and what's black? It's not uh, like completely black. We would call that pattern on the cat. You see, it has some stripes. You could call it striped. Um, another way to describe a cat with that kind of um, fur pattern, we'd call that um, a tabby cat. A tabby so cat. a striped cat. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, when they're gray and black, they're striped like that. We call that tabby. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems like she like, tries to do like look when, when like bring something. When the look tries to catch something and back. Yeah, maybe it's trying to, uh, to maybe catch Maybe someone sent like here to his paper and send it to him. <laughs> yeah, maybe the cat yeah. is trained to to take the paper out of the printer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I can't really tell what kind of document that is that is coming out of the printer. It's got color on it, but I can't tell what it is. Maybe it's some kind of chart. Yeah, and there's something like uh, okay, it is I think there's some tables uh, and, uh, and columns, some columns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe like for something for definitions or. Yeah, maybe. Yes, sir. It is. I can't read this one. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the cat thinks that the paper is solid, like it could. It could get on the yeah. paper, but it, it's not solid. It's not going to support yeah. the cat, so it falls. <laughs> yeah, because I am not like the, the last column. There is some number in the plot. Mm -hmm. So maybe a participant or something. Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Good. Yeah, so yeah, cat, cat takes paper out of the printer, falls down. All right, yeah. good. I'm glad everybody got a, a chance to describe it. Um, I do have to go to my next class. I'm doing a class about phobias, so excessive or irrational fears of things. So we'll be discussing strange phobias, some unusual things that people are scared of. So I hope you can join me for that. After that, we're going to be building a story together and working on our creative writing. So maybe I'll see you then. Um, if not, I hope you have a good day. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.